of a who than a what. You might say a certain Aethasian who sometimes eschews the light, but's got a kind heart and a good head on his shoulders. I don't know what's wrong with me. Whenever he's near, I get all tongue-tied. And when he's not, I can't stop thinking about him. Does anyone but the gods know what's going on in a dare's head? I mean, he's a right fine fella. Kind, too. But a little old. <gasps> <clears throat> Forgive me. I, I hadn't the notion you two were... intended. <sighs> Surely I'll speak no more of him again. That what you call a woman of seven and twenty? Or do you mean to say I'm immature? Better suited to another, mayhaps. And focus on what? Or do you mean... who? Got a suggestion for me? And on what does it depend? You gonna kiss me now, Watcher? Cause if you were, I guess I might not complain. <sighs> you think me shallow. But it's not just that, really. I've been trying my best, but I think maybe he dislikes me. <sighs> That's so. Figure it's a fine thing we cleared the air then. <sighs> you sure know how to woo a gal, don't you, Watcher? Oh, that was oh, not quite what I had in mind. Uh, suppose it's not meant to be. <sighs> Good gone. That was, I mean, uh, darn it all if I'm not a fool for you, Watcher. <clears throat> I'll take that as a no. Thanks for letting me down easy. <laughs> you sound like my high priestess when she's debating slapping the tar out of me. <sighs> Best I quit my fooling. We do, don't we? I like Maya. She's tougher and iron, slick as a mink, and smart to boot. Of course, she's real pretty, too. I do. <laughs> I tried not to, but I can't hardly help it. He's just so considerate and nice. If not to me, then everyone else. And he's so darn big and strong. I know my pa would have liked him. Problem is, I think he doesn't much like me, Watcher. Aside from the fact that every time I talk to him, he shoots me down? One night, while everyone was sleeping. <laughs> right. All you need to know is, it didn't work. I might have borrowed a bottle of rum and shook him awake. I thought he'd be more open to talk by the light of my lantern. You know, if it was just the two of us. He looked at me like I was a scorpion that had crawled into his sleeping bag. What should I do? You'll help me, Watcher, won't you? True enough. Even I know you can't catch a stag if you don't hunt. I'll try my gone darnest. I can promise you that. I just... I hope you're right. And that's gonna get us to bumping ugly sooner than later, is it? Cause every time I mention as much, it's like I got dead rat for breath. Mm, call me skeptical. But I'll think on it. I can promise you that. What good's a man who can't admit his failings? You might think me naive, and you might be right. But I've seen both types in a family. And I think there ought to be a little heat between a husband and his wife. <laughs> I do want to raise a family someday, whether it's with someone else or not. That's assuming we all live long enough. And I'm wrong about the coming darkness. <sighs> In the meantime, am I now looking at the wrong person? <laughs> <clears throat> I sure appreciate you taking my side, Watcher. Sometimes a girl gets to doubt in herself, and it feels like the whole world thinks you're wrong. But even when we don't see eye to eye, I know you got my back. And you should know I always got yours. That doesn't fix my problem, though. That's exactly what a girl longs to hear. Great. Just wonderful. Is there anyone I haven't yet driven away? I knew it. I'm a mess. Hopeless. I couldn't charm my way out of a grain sack if my life depended on it. Really? You wouldn't just be saying that to protect my feelings? 
Might be I was looking for love and affection, for understanding, in all the wrong places. I got to admit, you're far too good for me. I didn't even think I had a shot. But now I wonder, Watcher, do you maybe want me? Uh, oh, of course you were. My, my what now? Oh, <sighs> no. Yes, I mean, maybe. I tried a couple times, but it was to no avail. No, I've not, nor will I. Uninvited, that is. <laughs> Which at this pace is going to be never. Uh, sakes alive, Watcher. Keep your voice down, will ya? And no. <sighs> Suppose you're not wrong. Suppose I made a fool of myself. A bigger one than usual. Well, if everything went easy, there'd be no reason to worship our gods. <laughs> Whatever do you mean, Watcher? Well, that's your opinion. And now that you've said it, I can take it to heart. In the meantime, we'd best get back to it. <sighs> Don't I know it. Seems he's good for everyone but me. Might be I was looking for love and affection, for understanding, in all the wrong places. I knew I had no shot with you, so I thought maybe instead. But I reckon that doesn't matter now. Not anymore. Oh, I know this is madness, and you'll probably hate me forever if I voice this. But I'll hate myself more if I don't. You do? I hope that's a good sign, then. Or at least tops the usual omens I get. To be honest, I thought I'd be more torn up about it. I'd like to believe so, yes. Thanks to your advice, we've had a couple heart-to-hearts. I'd like to think that at least we're friends. No, I'm fairly sure it's not gonna work out. Well, to put it simply, you are. Forgive my audacity. I know I've got no place to... But I care for you, more than I can rightly say. I was wondering if you might return the sentiment. I thought I was too at first, but somewhere along the way, well, I realized he wasn't the one making my heart stutter. I don't look up to him like I do you, and he sure doesn't make me sweat like you do. You have. I know you have. It's just that... The truth is, I was afraid to want you. I didn't think the Watcher himself could be interested in me. When you think about it, how powerful you are compared to me, it doesn't hardly make any sense, does it? More than that, I don't just care for you. I want you, Watcher, for always. Like gone on a rampage, and the coming darkness in the final harvest. Yeah, I suppose we do. <sighs> Thank you for reminding me of my priorities. Why would I believe, or hell even think, the Watcher himself could be interested in me? Wanted it desperately, yes, but hoped? I'm almost afraid to believe it, that you would want me just as much and fierce. But darned if it doesn't make me so very, very happy. I'm going to make you so glad you picked me, Watcher. You'll see. <sighs> you taste like forgotten dreams. Like fate. You kidding me? I don't much like being teased, Watcher. Don't think I'll offer again. <sighs> You're right about that. When you touch me like this, even through my clothes, I can feel it hot as a brand. I'd sear your name over my heart, Watcher, if you'd only let me. But other parts of you feel just as hot, or hotter even. Bet I'd like to find out. If you're sure you'll have me, I'll do my best to stand tall by your side. You'll see, I'll make you proud yet. You and my God. But you best know it now. I'm not a woman to share. <laughs> <laughs> Sakes alive. Ready and willing. Watcher, I thought you might never ask. <laughs> <laughs> Look.
Let's reconvene in the captain's cabin where we can take it slow. I only ask you to be patient with me. There's so much I've longed to try and to see. Or to not see. Let me turn my lantern low. I want nothing but shadows between us. That was divine. Surely, Watcher, you are a blessing from gone. Think carefully before you speak next, because I don't do take-backs. I know I can sometimes come across a tad too intense. I guess I'm not surprised it had to come to this. So you'd best be sleeping with one eye open for the remainder of our trip. <sighs> I only hope we can still be friends. <sighs> Don't fool with me like that. I can't tell when you're being serious. Oh, 